Hello, Ellie Evil here. I think, mean, what's up, Internet? Ellie Evil here. I keep thinking. I ain't so. Sorry. Welcome back to a part of your secret, anyway. <laughs> Last time! Ugh! Where it came to this is of how the film would you forget about a trap? That you've been sitting on this desk for since seven years! Uh, Apollo! I don't think we're winning anymore. We were winning. And then my genius trap stopped winning. I hate my life. How oh, glad was to see we're all back in the wheel world right now. We'll get back to reality. Leave me a place for you. Last thing to reality. Choo choo. Objection! Okay, then how are you explaining the poison that was in the air? Then what? Huh? The poison stab? Where is that we use this poison stab again? In order to call to us. Ow! I see no proof such a thing ever existed. Objection! What about big chocolate let's do, huh? Oh, I agree. That does seem to be a chocolate let's do. A hair forehead. This is no stab. Yes, yes, but really. Stab missing stab. If you are pressing poison stab, this is this. Two missing would never use this. That is all. I hate my life. I hear. I believe we come to a conclusion. Again. Uh, Paul, were we wrong the whole time? I, I can't believe it. The poison traces match up. It can't be coincidence. I'd like to bring some closer to this issue. Sometime this year. Mr. Justice? Y yes, Your Honor. Let's review the facts and see where we stand. Seven years ago, two missions received a red emblem. There were traces of a poison and togolite on the document inside the emblem. A similar trace was also found at the quiet scene of this tiny p picture frame. The first and indicates the hostility of a yellow emblem. Well, that left the scene of crime with the poison stamp on it. Yes, but even if this end must contain the poison stamp, you and you listen, knowing this put in a frame, you would never use that stamp. I agree, you're right. Which means there's a fatal flaw in the defense's case. I haven't been on the wrong trap this time, I'm sure. I'm sure. The traces are talking about the emerald, the frame. A Jew misses mysterious death. They're all connected somehow. Well, Mr. Justice, do you have a conclusion for us? The Fed stands by its case, Your Honor. We see the logical outcome of the evidence makes no sense. Which means one of clues must be a fake. Ah, fake clue. Fascinating. And it's fake. No wild fancies would prove quite clear, so chap. The fake clue that spawned us off the poison tree is none other than. Jew missing. The, the victim was a fake clue? I. I'm afraid I don't understand. I explain. We have an emerald, a frame, and a mug inked by poison. That all makes sense. What doesn't make sense is the victim himself. Congratulations, you've completely lost me. That's the plan! Go to the fake evidence. Not other than a master of fake himself, the forger. It makes a good story, I give you that. The fake who fakes forgeries. Ah! I know that face. That's the I just had the idea face. I don't know him why, but I'm going with it anyway. It was genius time! What if I'll forge you? What is the fake? Come again. 
Seven years ago, a war to stiff the chat and stiff the sack. Seven years back. Now the four just stumbled into that very same trap and died. Why? That's what I want to know! Because the forgery was killed was a fake. Here we are again, the victim was a fake. One four just smelt the trap. One four just fell into the trap. That's two forges, and one of them was a fake! Ah oh, yeah! Evil time! Order, order, order! So you're telling us that Drew Mission, the victim, was a fake? Well, if he was a fake, who was the real forger? You better not be claiming there was some kind of shitty room. I think you're going to have to back out your story. Just to judge, just who will show who the real Drew Mission was. If Drew Mission wasn't the real forger, then there's only one both of us that it could have been. <sighs> Understood, Your Honor. Forger Drew Mitchell himself was a forgery. The real forger was his daughter. Vera Mission, take that! There can only be one explanation, really. The real identity of the forger known as Drew Mission is none other than his only daughter, Vera Mission. Da 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 da. Order, order, order! This is justice, this is going out of limb, even for you. I I agree. I mean, Vera, a forger. Let's get to it before you write it off time. You will get the paintings in studio. One fact becomes clear. Forgery has been taking pictures that studio for quite some time. The was a caught to this trap that trap seven years ago. This can only mean that the one who was caught to the trap wasn't the forger. Well, actually, that does make a sense, guys. Sense. One well, more thing. Only two sets of things events were found in Forge Studio. Two missions. And their missions. If we knew that Drew Mission was in the Forger, that leaves only one possibility. Pipotes of elimination. The Forger was their mission. Well. Look out! Fascinating. F fascinating. Fascinating. I just brewed a, a hole in the entire cake. And all you got to say for it is fascinating. Alright. Alright. Well, mission. You've been very attentive to the child so far. Let's just ask this be done with this, shall we? Who are you? Who's the fortune, Drew Mitchell? What was that? Expressive emotion I saw in the face? She's staring at all these spots of canvas face. I'm used to these staring by the four, it's pretty evening. Though they used to talk to me too. Tell us, where are you the one who forced those works of art? Yes. I knew it. So, so the forger, true mission, was you? Yeah, it was me. What? What? <laughs> Evil genius starts again. The call was an awful. Loads are coming down. We have to break for a 10 minute recess. To be continued tonight now because I'm not continuing in excess of this season. This episode's very short as it is. <sighs> October 8th. 1.24 p.m. This is called Defender Novel Number 6. Okay, so where does exactly does this leave us, Paul? 
Oh, did you miss who was killed? Why didn't you miss it the fortune? Basically. Uh, well, then, who was he? Well, he was actually. The. Uh, Julian Nails. So you really need some fortunes. Yes. Oh, Father. I know it was wrong. Could you tell us how it happened? My father was a painter. I loved painting ever since I was a child. One day, Father saw it in me. He saw that I had a talent. The talent for making forgeries. How should I say it? It was not only paintings I made. You know, the materials I could make anything. Anything? Father was so proud, and I so happy. But in the end, I was making those forgeries. I never had a good constitution or personality. No very little of the world outside my door. Now, because of me, Father is. Do you know about this red envelope? I remember that envelope. It was some time ago. So you already asked them. You were already creating your works back then. I started when I was only 12 years old. So the one who figured out the that was poison, that was... Mr. J Mr. Justice, it's time. Two gold, please. Why? How time. Wait, there one, just one more thing, please. Those three paintings in the studio. I painted those so as part of my work. Right, see, we checked them and we saw what was underneath. We saw the rough sketches underneath the three finished painting. We see. Did the justice? Yes. Father, he knew of you. Of both of you. Your late father. He was watching, gathering information. All about the wise and cold laws. Uh, but, but lately we're not cheering just law. Yes, you do tricks. Dad, to amuse. And play piano. Now they're not wearing really gags. That when father heard you had resumed the legal business. How pleased he was. Who was Mr. Mitchell? How am I supposed to know? Maybe he was daddy's daddy. Judging from the well to dangers of all, I say it's highly unlikely. Things are all you confusing over all these daddies running around. I don't need more. You know that the victim's daughter, Vera, was the forger. What does this mean for the case? Guess we're about to find out. October 8th, 1.36pm. There's a call, call number 3. Court of Star Back Succession. There it seems pretty tense. She's tapping chewing her finger near the screen off. How she could tell her begin by telling her what? How you set up this for you mission for your person? There's that star again. She's doing really more holes into her head. I know it's hard for you, but he's a hand. Hey, he's a handsome guy. What's hard? Very well, miss. If you would, did you read all those, those detestable fortunes? Had you ever asked my question? Oh, painting that painting, that memorable symbol. Ah, yes. I painted it. Yes. Have a pretty. Quite highly for it. So, she was the one who made the fortunes. 
as she did not even wish to reveal the truth of that book of wit. She stand it, and did go. She was the last, he was the fortune, not her. I had done a bad thing. I have come now. Regardless, we need a little more information. About, for instance, this. You have seen this before, Jack. Y yes, it was in the next drawer. Very well, you may see me with your chest on. Tell everything you know about this evidence. With this testimony, the red ember. I created his hands and father's soldier. This ember came after my first work. That was over then I think you. Father Hannah the deal. What? First work. I received the stamp that was in that ember. It was after that job that I knew to accord to. Hmm. They say it was much of great interest in your successor. Not that the witness realized, is it? Very well, begin the coffin only. Alright, okay. I need more information about this force. This true mission. Time to press everything. Cross examination. The red dead bow. So these things you were making, uh, you mean paintings, identical to other painters, right? The closer they were, the happy father I was. I was happy too. Still, you're quite young now. How do you get this work? I first think he's someone else's fault. Your Honor, she had no idea what she was doing was illegal. Easy there, the attorney. Now he had defended for the kind of force. Hmm, true. Please tell us more about this symbol. This symbol that may well kill your father. Alright. By other than a painting, you mean? You've done only paintings up to that point. Yeah. My father had a real life issue. Most of my talent extended to making things other than painting. For instance... For instance, a letter to someone who lived in. Or a fingerprint left upon a cup. Or a signature on a document. A seal on a letter. None of these does sound very innocent at all. And a hundred... Soon promised that this was supposed to stop. We are a new MC for Junison. A new MC? The creation of items to be used in criminal disputes. Forging evidence, in other words. Uh oh. Forged evidence. Hold it! So you didn't know how the things were you were making were being used? I enjoy thinking very much. I think I understand. Oh, I have lived in an unusual deal well. Can you ask out the, to the papers that were in this ember? Father signed them and sent them back, I believe. Um, did he follow the instructions? Generally, in the closed ember with the closed stamp. This is a rather important man. Give your answer support. What do you mean you were saved there? Uh, did I do something wrong? You didn't use that stamp because it was dangerous, correct? Deadly poison on the bat! So could I! Reason! A moment, I uh, thought. You can't force that stamp upon me with it. Now that perhaps you will tell me more of it. Where did you receive it? Something wrong. It was beautiful. Ah, uh, you mean one of those commentary stuff? Yes, I think it was. So you didn't know about the poison? I take that for now. 
I get that. So the child failed by chance, by mistake. I see this cometa instead. Hard to close goal. You mean you need to wear the corn juice to your eyes? Yes, we saw very few people there. We can join pictures, but a single tile of a child under the criminal underworld. I think Jesus' mission was to juice the visitor to the world of war. We had to meet someone for some reason. Father posed as the creature of the work. So that was the real essence of the artist's true mission. You did the work and he supplied the faith. Interesting. So you really didn't know anything, did you? You have no idea how much danger you were in. Apparently not. About this command to stand. Could you tell us more about it? It's very pretty, and uh, more important than that. Yes? There's a picture of people I liked at the time. This is something new. Apparently, that's a look of Sam making it to heaven. You go down to see your test on for a Magicians? I wonder. Objection! Objection! Those magicians you want. Was it this bunch? I knew it. Paula, they're not a bunch. Hmm, I see. Still have to wonder. Why you crew to come with staff like that, a businessman? Got a question. Oh, uh, well, pretty stats are always better. And you can't be too grammar. But the whole murder plan was failure because of it. I want it, don't you think? Pass the Eh? Pass the Gavin? Why do I have a bad free coming for Gavin? Gram, 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 we. Uh, what's with Gavin? Might I ask for a sort of question of this witness? Hey, you just know, you just know. You stated this was your first work other than a painting. Please, tell me. What exactly did you make? That's what. No! Answer the question! Now! Eek! Uh, Prosecutor Gavin! You're usually not the one who volume concerns me. Yes, it's a little uncanny of me, I am apologize. But, I must know. Please, listen, tell me. It was a book. A single page in a book. A book. Please be more specific. It was a handwritten book. Like, like a diary. <laughs> oh. No! I don't know! What is going on? I seriously have lost all control of the situation like 10 hours ago. What is wrong with Prosecutor Gavin? It looks like he just saw a ghost. This mission. This book. Was there a picture of a silk hat on the back cover? Yes or no? Uh, how... How did you know? OBJECTION! President Gavin, the defendant is answering all your questions! Stop badgering her! 
told you nothing, has he? You're so you so he's mental. Nothing. So he who? Then it's what? Who else? Paddy? Now he told you about the trial seven years ago. How he came to lose his turn his badge. There's a certain piece of defense at the side of his feet, you know. A certain diary. On the back, Baltimore got a steel cap. What? Penis right. Tossed of the possessor by false evidence. The fortune made that evidence. Is this girl standing right in front of me? Vera, you must tell us. The evidence you made was used in trial seven years ago. Who asked you, Mister? You to force that evidence? For sakes, who was it? Only met once. You met. You you met the crime. Well, who was it? It was. It was. What's going on with Bella? She's staring past the gathered face again. Yes. What? There's something about me. I remember clearly. I remember who gave me the book, the diary. Who was it? Yeah. <laughs> the death The Federal Mission Condition Unconscious A Samus Dino Acute Atogonite Poisoning This ends the recording for the child murder of the, for the murder of Drew Mission. Bear Mission was during the trial poisoned by our Nova Thetans. The toaster was just under the leaf of a mouth, staring the defendant's life. She's going into ten scans, not to be despaired for any reason. It's a very simple case, at uh, first glance, until it finally began to show its true course. A long road to the truth. Take us to the record of another trial. In some ways, that was the starting point of it all. And that is where we must go. <laughs> to find the whole truth. See you guys? Then!